Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome again to the channel. You know, if you watch my videos the other day, I did one on my dear dishwasher, Betsy, decided to quit me. She just died with no warning. So that night, you know, I was doing dishes and I'm like, wow, this takes a lot of time. <laughs> I'm not used to this, right? First you rinse them off, then you gotta scrub, put a little soap, rinse it off. Then you gotta set it over, then you go over there and dry it. And I'll tell you very honestly, I didn't realize this. I guess I had a dishwasher for just too long and I just got used to not having to deal with the time involved to wash and dry and sometimes it's more hassle than help trying to get you know everyone else to kick in a little it's fun though i mean we did spend some time talking and you know discussing but i just think it wastes a lot of water wastes a lot of soap it seems like to me and i'm just wondering if i get them half as clean as the dishwasher did but anyway so that is just to tell you that you know, the old guy hates spending money. And I'll tell you, these dishwashers are not cheap. But I thought, well, I'll go try to find me a, a decently priced one, you know, something on sale maybe. And I looked at all the usual suspects. Out here, the choices primarily are Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, maybe Amazon, you know, Menards. So what I did then, I went to Best Buy. Now I'm doing this all online, you know, cause it's, it's at night and I like to shop online. So I see like Menards and a couple places are saying, you know, the, this model is not available till January 8th. You know, they're being upfront. But anyway, they had a decent price one over at Best Buy. And they said I could pick it up the next day. I'm like, hey, that sounds pretty good. That's what the old guy wants, you know. I'll cut loose. A, uh, it'll be painful, but I guess I'll live through it, you know. Cut loose a few bucks and uh, get me a dishwasher again. And so I ordered it. And I thought, well, the next day, it was snowing a little, so I wasn't in a rush right away. I'm not hearing anything. So I go to check on the stance and it says, delayed. Like, ah, well, it's snowing, you know, I can make do one more night, you know, I can muddle through somehow and just get those dishes done and go get the dish, because I'm picking it up. There ain't no way. I think um, delivery was like 60 bucks or 80 bucks or something. Installation, another hundred or it's going to be, you know, though I installed the first one. I installed everything in the house, so that's nothing. I'll go get in the truck, bring that bad boy home. So the next day comes, still delayed. No ETA, you know. I don't want to call anybody. That's just a big hassle, you know. So a couple of days have gone by now and same old story. So I'm about getting fed up with it. So here's my question to you. I'm going to go out tomorrow and I'm going to hit a couple of these stores. What do you guys think about open items what do you think about um what they call it scratch and dent or whatever can you save any money is the savings worth it i'm not going to be in this house forever i'm assuming before too long hopefully in the next year or two i'll have this thing up for sale and be out of here but in the meantime you know i'm not getting saving a few bucks uh, they don't really show the scratch and dent items online, so I guess you kind of, it's a store-by-store store deal, I guess. So I'm, I thought I might go check it out. I don't know if people have got a bad impression of that. Have you had a decent, is it worth the savings? Was it a nightmare? Did something go wrong? They wouldn't return it. Have you guys had any experience with open items before? And have you had any experience, good or bad, with Best Buy? I mean, I guess I'm calling them out. I don't know what else to say. It's like, I bought it. They took the money. They said it was going to be the next day. And now it's a couple of days later. And I'm just getting tired of having to do the dishes. I'll just get my money back and spend it somewhere else. If I can find me a open item maybe you know depending on what you guys say maybe i'll find something that's on sale that's new and in stock i don't know 
you never know until you look, right? But I always love the interaction with you guys. I like to know what your experience is, you know. So let me know if you think I'm nuts or you've had a good experience. And uh, I appreciate it. And I will go out there and hit the stores. And if I come up with something good, I'll definitely be letting you know the, the old guy's deal of the day or something. <laughs> but why? Well, I don't know. You really... I got to say, you don't appreciate something until it is gone. I never appreciated old Betsy, but boy, I sure appreciate her now. I'll tell you what, I'm even getting a little bit of this dishwasher, this water, dishwasher, whatever they call it, hands, you know, it's like from, you always uh, get them in there and then you're drying them or so. I don't know what it is, but it's crazy. That's what it is. I'd a lot rather stack them in there. And then, you know, cause not only does it do the work for you, but it holds them. It holds them when they're dirty. It holds them when they're clean. It holds a lot, you know. And for me, space has had a premium here. It's like we're always crowded and there's always, I don't know, there's always a lot of dirty dishes. You would think us people eat too much. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe that's the way it is. I don't know. Anyways, thanks so much for stopping by. Spending a few minutes with the old guy. You guys like that background? I think it's looking pretty good. I got playing around with the light, you know, and different. Trying to change things up from time to time. I'll be doing some uh, different backgrounds behind me with the green screen too, you know. So, so far I'm super happy with it. Just saying thanks to you guys for checking me out. And until next time, we'll see you.